throughout the year. Um, I think last year, um, uh, two years ago, 55 nothing. You know, it was a, a kind of a blowout game. And then last year, they, they came. They played us tough. Um, our defense, we had them to scoreless. And I mean, our offense put 13 on the board, enough to get the win. But um, they're they're a tough team last year, and uh, they have nothing to lose. They're they're going to give us their best shot, and uh, we got to come prepared. You mentioned the progression. Do you think that you guys are on that that right role as far as progression for as a defense? Yeah. Uh, um, the the progression this year compared to last year. Um, we've won uh, last year. We won some close games, and this year, the um, ball hasn't rolled our way. Um, and um, it's a matter of one or two plays, and one or two plays last year that we got them, and one or two plays this year we haven't got them. It's a um, it's a process. Uh, we're just going along, and we can't control anything that's happened. And uh, we're going to keep playing. How big so, of a game is this in the in the big picture? It's big. Um, uh, you're playing for a better bowl game. You're playing uh, for a trophy game first and foremost. Uh, a rivalry game with Minnesota. Um, they, they played us tough last year, and uh, we expect the same thing this year. Is there a huge difference between eight wins and seven wins, though, in the regular season? Yeah, you get to go uh, to a better bowl game. You get to um, it hits one more win for the team. It's um, a lot of things. Um, one more win to your total. Um, like a, yeah, it is. It is a lot better than uh, winning seven games. Anytime you can win a game, it's it's, it's good. <laughs> so is any of it kind of an emotional thing? Is not being like a bowl game or just being. Eight and four as opposed to seven and five is any of it kind of an emotional, not emotional, but a mental thing, I guess. Um, I, I don't really, I don't think, I don't really think about it that much. I guess it's just about every week going out and playing the best football that you can. Um, and if you win, you win. If you lose, you go on to the next one. Is there anything that you can really pinpoint for with fourth quarter defense? Uh, is there any? There doesn't seem to be one thing. I mean. That I can think of. I mean, getting off the field, maybe third and fourth down, that might be a big stat. Yeah, third third down. Uh, I say it a lot every week. Or it seems like I say it every week. You um, do. And yeah, it's okay because you, you you're right. Up, yeah, you got to get off the field on third down, and if you don't get a, if you don't win that aspect, uh, you, you probably won't win the game. I and mean, that's happened to us a few times this year. We couldn't get off the field on third down, and uh, last year we could. I don't want to keep comparing this year to last year, but uh, it's something that everybody's talking about. But. Uh, it's just something that we, we're just looking to improve on on third down. Um, I think all three of your years so far, Minnesota has been the season finale. Yep. Is that a big deal? I mean, and next year you have a chance. I mean, if you come back, next year you have a chance to play at or, at uh, Nebraska. Does the season finale matter to the players? Yeah. It's You want to go out um, on, on the right No, You know, you, you want to leave it out all on the field knowing that um, you're going to have some time off before you play your next game. And it, it's... Um, you just want to go out on the right note, basically. It doesn't matter who you play. I don't think it matters who you play. It never should matter who you play. You always want to play uh, your best game, no matter uh, who's on the field. What kind of challenges does Weber present to you?